Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Today um, is gambling day. Gambling day in a, in a way of like Omega big gambling day. And when I say big, I mean like Omega big gambling day. Because today we're gonna question our life opportunities with this kind of like tap over here. Because honestly, it might not look a lot, but if I tell you that the worth of this stuff is around about like a bit more than nine mirrors, like 5,000 divines or something, you might say like, why and what the hell is going on? And today's gambling is Hinekora's Locks versus Mage Bloods, okay? And it's a very, yeah, it's a weird gamble, okay? So if we take a look at the write down, we have 50 Hinekora's Locks versus a Mage Blood by, by Venus. And yeah, Mage Blood, they're all rolled for like four flask effect and stuff like that. If we corrupt them, they're actually decent. That means they have like decent rolls and they have quality because enchants we can add later on, right? And uh, yeah, that is a worth of like around about three mirrors for these like five Mage Bloods. And then we have the Hinokora's Locks. And most of you guys will not even know what this is and uh, will probably never use it. And I personally, I never used one myself. So this is the first time for me as well. And they go for around about 69 divines apiece. So those 50 locks are around about six, a bit more than six freaking mirrors. And what this thing is doing, it basically foresees the result of a crafting or corruption option, whatever you want to call it. That means as a showcase, if I use a lock on like, for example, if I like use this divine over here, I don't see anything. I click on it and then it will change the values. You know, get lucky, get good rolls, get not lucky, uh, get shit on, right? Same with with Vile Orbs, you know, if, if I click on it and it breaks, it's bricks, right? So, if we use now uh, the uh, D&D slash clear and salt command... Uh, wait, if, if we use... No, wait, I didn't want to party in mine! Ah! Kicking kick him out! <sighs> Almost had to sell something. So, if we now use this Hinokora's lock on this mage blood, it becomes like purplish, okay? And now we can... 4C. That means if I use a divine orb and just mouse over it, I see what will change. Okay. So as you see, um, here the normal one has like 20 and 22 res. If I mouse over the divine orb, I see the new outcome would be 25 res and 17. So now I can like ask myself, do I want to use that currency or not? Same with a val orb. I click on it, I mouse over it, and then I see what will happen if I use this val orb. The headhunter will break. So I don't need to use that to click it away. Okay. And uh, one other thing that you can do is using a double Corruption Chambers because each try is, as I said, 69 Divines for every try. So you, you're probably not going to use it to Divine because, you know, I could just Divine the build, you know, if I want to. Or um, But yeah, if we go for double Corruption, there are outcomes that are way worth more than an actual Mage Blood. But considering, you know... Mage body 340, the Hinakoras lock is like uh, 69. So we're talking about a, an, a cost of um, plus the temple. It's like 410 divines per try, kind of, like plus minus, right? So the outcome of the headhunter needs to be kind of like worth more than 400 divines to actually make this profit double. And you kind of see where this is going, right? We're looking for the best kind of outcomes. If we just hit shit in the 50 Hinikoras log, we just like, you know, shredded six mirrors and that's about it. And um, yeah, there is a couple of rolls that you can uh, get. Like, usually the, the double corruptions are starting at around 350, 360. This is pretty much the, a bit more than the usual cost of a mage blood. But considering that we use the Hinikoras log, it's still minus currency. So what would be like very good corruptions on um, the belt? You can basically just sort by the price and you basically get an idea, right? Grace Determination Aura Effect. This is something I would like to have on my mage plot because I'm playing an armor stacker. That is like the Grace Determination Aura Effect is way worth more for my build than 42 strength, right? Then there is uh, for stacking characters, crit multi, um, rarity, maybe quantity. I think rarity is not that much, but it's still maybe slightly more worth, uh, more, right? Then we have movement speed, crit multi, any kind of, like, aura effect, as long as it is used by the meta builds, because these are the belts that would be used, or at least would be, yeah, probably purchasable for certain, uh, people, right? Good. 
And on top of that, that I cannot showcase now, but I will showcase, is if you are changing now um, anything about the belt, you know, if you soak up the Hinekoros lock, for example, with a Divine Orb, or just make it cheap with a Blessed Orb, it removes the Hinekoros and we can use a new one, okay? So this is how you can remove the Hinekoros lock and just uh, go again. And the way we're gonna do this is we're just gonna open a temple, get a bunch of, like, um, Hinekoros locks and Blessed Orbs, and we try to hit Omega Big. In my opinion, like, what would be kind of, like, the most valuable, um... Mage blood result. Like Grace Determination for the big aura stackers, they are surely willing to pay like three, four mirrors for a belt like that. But I also think like like quantity movement speed might be also like one of the big ticket winners. I don't know any other belt combination that where people would say, like, dude, I wanna have this, you know, like movement speed quant or quant rarity or something might be really uh, sick actually. So let's pick the Hinekoras. Let's pick uh, the Omega Bloods, and I think we're just gonna throw on um, a Hinekora's lock on each of them, right? So 69 Divines gone, 69 Divines gone, 69 Divines gone, 69 Divines gone. Perfect. And you're gonna see once we uh, enter the temple and we mouse over the temple corruption onto the Mage Blood, we're gonna see the result. And if it's going to be valuable, we're gonna use it and open a new temple. If not, we're gonna throw on a Blessed Orb, so the Hinekoras get removed, and we're just gonna reapply it. So here is the chamber of on the left side. So let's move in there. And hopefully, we're gonna hit big. I mean, in the best case scenario, we're gonna open five temples, hit five insane double corruptions, make like five mirrors profit, and sell off the rest of the, the Hinekoras, right? But uh, knowing my RNG, if we hit one good corruption on like 50 Hinekoras, I can be proud, you know? But it's just my RNG, right? So, let's give it a shot. Uh, we mouse over and we get nothing. So here, nothing changes. Here, it would be a brick. Here, it would be a poof. Here, it would be a poof. And here would be a brick. That's my RG here, you know? What is, like, nothing? Brick, poof, poof, brick. Yeah, that's great. Okay. So what we do now is basically we're gonna use a blessed orb on the... Oh, wait. We can check a normal Val orb. Um, I mean, technically, we could mouse over every divine to... To force better rolls, you know, but this will take quite some time here. We have two magic flask, doesn't matter. Here, two magic flask, two magic flask, two and four. But is this better? No, it's worse than before. Okay, we could fish for a quantity roll. Nothing. Brick. Yes, it's not valuable. Crit multi and brick. I'm not sure about crit multi as a singular um, corruption. Let's see, if we say Mage Bloods, then we need to like filter for the stats on this button here and say at least four. So it, it will just show Mage Bloods that have like uh, four flasks because this is most likely what you're going to go for. Uh, multiplier during flask effect. And they will go for 420, 480. So that's already 70 Divines above the Mage Blood price. So I guess Crit Multi might be valuable but you know we're looking for the good stuff you know so i don't think i think we're not going to do anything we saw that the vile orbs would give uh, crit multi the corruption did nothing so i guess we're just going to throw a blessed orb on each of them and remove the five hinekoras so now we add another five hinekoras and it should yield other results we had like nothing uh brick poof poof brick right so, uh, 70 Divines gone, 70 Divines gone, 70 Divines gone, 70 Divines gone, 70 Divines gone. And let's check again. That has all res, strength, and intelligence. Huh. I don't think so. Because, you know, resistance with a Mage Blood shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. I mean, technically it's valuable, or at least more. We, we, we compare it to the base, like, what, 35 strength, right? Strength intelligence, though, could be something, so I kind of need to check that. So we have um, increased strength, increased strength, um, increased intelligence. I know a lot of Inquisitors are using that until all elemental resistances. I don't think we have to, we can value the uh, uh, too much the resistance, if you ask me. Um, 
It's like 500, one mirror, 500 with crit multi, but yeah, there is the crit multi. So as a standalone, even though there is none, I don't I don't think we can check for all because some of these birds are just dead since like 12 days. They just don't exist anymore, right? The people have already stopped the leak, so it's very hard to price check those. But I personally think since we have so many Hinekoras, I think we, we should go for the big gamble. You know, like really the big one. So I think all res here is kind of a dead stat. That's a brick. Um, rarity and all res kind of the same thing. That's a poof. That's a poof. Uh, what about this one? Nothing. Brick. Nothing. Dex intelligence. I don't think Dex Int is that good. And Dex Int again. Um, two flasks. Four flasks. 70, 18 is worse. Four flasks. 15, 21 is worse. 24, 15. Uh, I think they are all worse. So I guess. We take on the next uh, couple of Hinekoras and check again. Max life rarity. I don't think that's good. You know, I always think like, dude, it's 70 divines for this try. And this one sells maybe 20 divines more than the old version. I think we could technically, when we go down to the last 10 or so, we could maybe like use something like that for a bit of more profit, I guess. But at the moment, we just freaking did it like lose currency yo triple poof and a brick okay let's see that because just quantity is already like really strong strength dexterity maybe like nom nom science right just flat out strength dexterity um priest dexterity i think the belt has to be worth like 500 divines or something to call it like worth it that's like 370 with lower rolls. This one is double corrupted with multipliers. So yeah, I think the only Val Orb corruption that might be worth it would be straight up Quant. Like honestly, here are Quant belts. They have three Quant and going for 400. And then there's a four Quant for 1.1 mirrors, which is like 500, 600 or 530 divine. So I think on the plain Val Orb, if we hit Quant, might be good. But I don't see any reason to... Check, like, strength dexterity or something. But this kind of sucks, man. That's, like, another... Wait, which one is... Like, it's 69 times 5. is 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. It's, like, th 345 divines. Every time we, are, we fuck up. I hope I don't fail this too hard, man. That's a brick. That's a poof. That's a poof. That's a poof. That's nothing. It's just like 300, what, 330 divines? To just see, oh, brick, poof, poof, poof. Nothing. Great. 330 divines down the toilet, man. Just like that. Oh, boy, man. How can this, how can this ever be worth it? It's like, if you hit, like, insane, yeah, you make profit, maybe. But if we don't hit anything, we're, we need to make, like, six mirrors, actually. That is, that is never gonna happen, man. Holy shit. Okay. Next in the chorus. Nothing. Quant and Cellar Tree. I think that's the first one, because Quant alone would be worth it. Cell tree is uh, not really that good. Maybe Magic Find Blade Vortex characters? I think that's the first one, right? That is, Quant Cell tree is definitely the first one. So we click on it, we got our belt. Shit, I should have checked the other three options first. Yeah. But now we go out and open the next chamber, quite. I should, shit, I, I should have checked the other ones first, but... For next time, okay? For next time. I surely just, uh, overall, like... I mean, it's three poofs anyways! Don't give me that. I know people are gonna be mad now, like, Oh, I didn't check the others, bro, it's so bad! Yeah, but... You know, I don't need a whore in a chorus lock to foresee that I'm gonna break the other three belts, you know? I'm just saying, dude. Hey. 
I have some knowledge in this game. Acquired over 23 leagues that I've played in, okay? Participated and played, more or less. So, hey, I, I, I'm so old in this game, they call me fossil and ancient, you know? I don't need a fucking Inokora's lock to know what, what's the outcome of a double corruption is. So, but yeah, should have, should have checked the other one first. That is true. Uh, uh, yeah, let's go for the next one and uh, see what the result's gonna be, and then we can price check. But yeah, quantity is like the thing. In order to get quantity, you need item level, I think, 85 on a belt. And most of the uh, mage bloods are like 80, uh, level 80. This is the one that you turn in from apothecaries, like my belt is, right? This is item level 80, but if they drop naturally while mapping or something like that, they, they get level uh, higher item levels. Um, and therefore, they can have those results, right? Okay. Let me see. Then we have nothing. Multiplier max life. Poof. And nothing. Mm, I don't think the multiplier max life is actually worth it. But we're all also like down half of the lockets. Mm. Nothing. Nothing. Grace our effect as a standalone. I don't think so. Maybe it would be the second best after determination. No way. No, actually, Grace is the best one. Grace our um. Right effect. See, Grace as a standalone. Yeah, three seventy-five ish. And this comes with rarity. So, not really, right? Let's double check. Nothing. Quit multi life, poof, and nothing. And here we have just Grace as a standalone, right? Nope. And we go again. Nothing. Poof. Rip. Poof. Nothing. Salad tree. Rip. Ass beat. This hurts so much, dude. This hurts so much. Brick. Brick. Poof. Poof. Dude, it's like... It's like 270 divine... Uh, 275 divines for checking a double brick and the double poof, man. It's not me, dude. It, but in the other hand, if you buy a mage pot and be like, yo, let's YOLO it, and, and you spend 340 divines and you just brick it, then the 340 divines is gone as well, right? And this way, I still maintain to have the mage blood, right? So, I'm just saying, how can you make this profitable, man? It's impossible. Brick. Brick. Movement speed. Multiplier standalone. Dude, this is impossible. Rarity and cast speed. Nah. Nothing. Poof. Nothing. Nothing. Multi. Nothing. Nothing. This... It, it, this hurts so much, dude. It's a 24 multi standalone. I don't think that that's worth it. But on the other hand... Four hundred twenty, but they also have like. Oh, I, I gamble that now. I gamble it. I think Valorb only worth with a Hinokora's lock. Okay, so we have uh, thirteen more to go, and that means we need to get some outcome. But it didn't happen on this one. But we're gonna get it now, okay? Because I still want to get them corrupted to get some of the loss back. Break. Oof. Wrath and Determination. I think this is one we can use. Skill effect, duration, and anger. That sounds pretty bad. 
If it would be malevolence and skill effect duration, then maybe. But anger and skill effect, I don't know. So about wrath and determination. I mean, my build is using both as far as I know. Yeah, we are using wrath and determination. So that would be an upgrade to my build. I'm not sure how much it is worth though, but... Um, uh, our effect. So determination and wrath. Yeah, the thing is, like, will they exist, you know? Probably not. But just Determination should go for a bit as well. One mirror for Determination and Grace. Yeah, I think... I'm pretty sure that is a login. Wrath, Determination. Because it's a 20% on a Determination as well. So, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Still hurts, man. Okay, we have nine left. It's like three tries, right? Have we checked the Valorps, Brick, Allres? Nothing, okay. Okay, I need a new temple. I cannot do this. But the thing is like, out of these belts, we have to juice six mirrors, man. How do you ever want to be able to win that? He's like, there's no way, man. You have to hit really like the best one where somebody is willing to pay six, seven mirrors for that. And that will be, I don't know, quant movement speed or quant rarity or, or something like that. Or, as I said, Grace Determination. But the chances, you know, with the with the bricks, with the nothing happening, it's like a 25% chance that it actually hits a double corruption. And then you need to hit the, the right modifiers. It's like... Quant crit multi might also be very good, yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. The problem is, I I'm maybe doing this like so bad that I'm still gonna get roasted for uh, doing bad things with Hinokoro's locks. But on the other hand, most of the stuff I do makes absolutely no sense and is a waste of currency. So I guess, I guess it's fine. I mean, isn't that like what my content is known for? <laughs> okay. Wait, sacrifice unique. No. Uh oh. One one more one more on the top. I mean sacrifice unique. Could could literally just is this tier three? Nah, it's T1. Ugh. But wait, doesn't the monster always have like a unique item with him? Even if it's trash? Oh, there it is. Okay, could have happened, you know. Random as a mage bloods. So let me clear this one up. Yeah, orb of unmaking, dude. That's a key word. I need to like go back. Uh nothing. Grace and movement speed. Check the volleys. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Grace movement speed. I think we can use that. Because we have like six lockets left, so we probably want to try to get some monies back, I guess, so... I guess Grace movement speed is fine. That should definitely sell, and uh... Not bad at all. So, two more belts. So, we need a new temple. F. I mean, it's good that we need a new temple, honestly. If we need a new temple, it means we actually have a new mage blood that is probably worth more than before. So, okay, two more to go. But that's actually interesting. Does a new temple give me new results? Because wouldn't that be cheaper if you throw in a Hinikora's log and just buy like a hundred temple? Because each temple will have a different outcome. Technically. Maybe We're buying a hundred temples, but I think it's that's not the case. It will be the same. Is like, hey, if I have a stack of ten val, uh, ten um, exalted orbs, then every exalted orb would yield another result, right? I think I think that it is like locked to the temple on which corruptions with like item ID or some shit. 
Uh, let me click really clear that. Yeah, because then you throw in one Hinekora's lock and then you just buy double corrupted chambers for 1.7 diff and just uh, wait until you get something good, right? That is nothing, and that is nothing. Yeah, okay. So. Check, check. Lock, lock. Poof. Malevolence and skill effect duration. I think we can take that. As I said, Mello, like before when we had skill effect duration with anger, I said Malevolence skill effect duration might be a thing, but... So I guess... Let me see. Male violence... Wait. Malevolence and uh, skill effect duration could be something, but there is not like a lot of chaos built out there, so th it doesn't exist. Malevolence alone. Oh wait, and yes, there's a monster or 418, 450. Yeah, I think that's a login. Skill effect duration and malevolence, I think, is a login. The other one is a poof. Let me check the Val orbs again. Determination aura effect singular. Eh. I think Grace is better for aura stacking. Mm, determination singular. Three sixty ten hours ago. So this one is alive. Three sixty five. Nah, man. Take this one. And we need a new temple. And four more locks. New temple and four more locks. And the question that I ask myself since I opened the first temple without ever using a Hinikora's lock, how much currency will will we burn today? Because the, the odds of actually hitting like double, triple quant belts back to back is just not really existing, right? So, so Locust is on the left side, third floor. We're already almost done. But the question is, first of all, how do you price check these belts? Second, will they sell for the price that you put it up for? And third, uh, yeah, exactly. I have no idea, man, because it's so late in the league and double corrupted mage bloods is just something people usually do, even if they have way too much currency, like in our example over here, right? Uh, or if they are quitting the league and they're like, hey, I'm done with the league, let's double corrupt all my expensive items and see what we get. And then they still log off or, you know. It's like, those, like, items are, like, very hard to, like, uh, get sell uh, sold or something, right? So, that is a poof. Determination hour effect. So that's b pretty much the same outcome as before. So, we basically busted that myth that a, corrupt a corruption chamber is actually changing the outcome. Good. Lock. Nothing. Nothing. Minus 70 divines. Poof. Pass speed. Minus 70 divines. Brick. Brick. Minus 70 divines. Last lock. Pride and Rarity. Oh boy, who is playing Pride? And it's double perfect rolled, right? Yeah, it's double perfect rolled. So I guess we have to take that anyways. Unless we get 5 quant here. No. So I guess Pride, Rarity... I guess it's still better than the regular one. But who the, who the F is using Pride these days? Like, imagine playing Melee, dude. Pride, um, aura effect. Pride, pride, pride. So standalone, they're going for the average mage bot price. Even with increased life, they're not worth anything. Crit multi is a lot. I don't know. Yeah, we're still gonna use it. 
we still gonna use it. Okay, so we soaked up all the Hinekora's logs. We checked everything twice, three times in a row. And we actually corrupted five belts. That means that all of these five belts are worth more than the previous version. And now the big question. How much... This is like... This is what we have right now, right? We have the five mage bloods, the Hinakora's locks, and the corruption chambers. So what is left? Uh, we have zero uh, lockets left. We have uh, three corruption chambers left. Is three times 1.7 divines. Uh, so we need to make about 5,158.5 divines out of the mage bloods. I mean, they they were worth more. Then the classic one, so we still get the worth of the mage bloods back. But it's still, I mean, okay. Grace movement speed does not exist. How the fuck, uh, how the F should I price check that? So, let, let me do one by one. Grace and movement speed with on and offline. So, um, grace, movement speed. In the end of the day, you know what you usually do? Uh, movement, movement speed during flask effect. You list them for a certain price, and then you try to sell it. If it doesn't sell next day, you make it cheaper. Next day, you make it cheaper. At some point, you will sell, you know? But this is something I can, I cannot make the decision. So currently, there's no Grace movement speed on the market. Grace itself is like a 375, and movement speed alone is like a 400, 450. So determination movement speed is 455. I personally think that Grace movement speed is better thanks to Iron Reflexes and double dipping into Evasion. So I think that that's why Armor Stacker is using a high level Grace instead of a high level Evasion. Uh, like a Determination. Because the Grace with Iron Reflexes gives more armor. So I would say about Determination movement speed 480, at least 500. 500... Maybe 525, something like that. You know what? Let, let's let's actually put it for 550, 525, 5. It's like, you know, yeah, whatever, dude. 525, whatever, okay? So that would have been a profit of, um, you know, as I said, this is like, it, it's so hard. 185 would just as like, I guess. Uh, this one is gonna be the most interesting one, because the problem is it only has 3 quant. And it is it's absolute minimum rolls. 3 quant and 15 seller tree. And we already checked before, there is only 3 belts on the market, 2 belts right now that actually have quant. Uh, if we check offline, are there any, like, double corrupted ones? No, there is not a single one. But, you know, quant is like the, the Gucci thing here. Um, this one is for f uh, 3 mirrors. Um, and has five quant, you know, mine has three quant, so plus cell tree, I'd say put it in for mirror, I guess, so that would be, uh, 560, kind of, um, you know, 340, wait, wait, um, reset, 560 minus three, uh, minus 340, maybe, could be more, could be less, but, I mean, if this would be multiplier, like quant multi, we're talking big money, but quant sell. I don't see sell tree for selling that much. People in chat say easy four mirrors, three to four mirrors. One mirror is too low. I don't know, man. I mean, yeah, then let's put it up for a thousand divines if you say that's better. Which would be like 1.8, 1.9 mirrors. Sparkers? I mean, yeah. Like, you know what? Put it for for two mirrors right now maybe it could be more could be less i i don't deal with a lot of the I, I i deal with a lot of perfect items but i'm not dealing a lot with like omega expensive items that are also double corrupted with, with quantity so then we have wrath and determination but the thing is we kind of have to make a bunch of currency with that right uh wrath and determination i'm pretty sure there was none on f oh two mirrors two mirrors Four days ago, three days. Yeah, but are they selling? You know? Because if, if that's true, then I need to, like, put the quantity one for three mirrors then. So... And this one now for two, right? So 560 times two. 
which is still would be a prop but for me like even if i have 10 mirrors on my stash would i ever consider buying a mage blood for three four mirrors i mean yeah maybe it's just like maybe i'm just uh too weird when it comes to that but we also need to make currency right so we're just gonna price everything for 10 mirrors and that's it so then we have male violence and skill effect duration okay 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 Malevolence, skill effect duration. Uh, 1.3 mirrors, 18 days ago. I think that's pretty much that. You know, on offline, dude. And I'm not gonna check stun prices. Oh, yeah. If the if the regular one is going for 340, why would somebody willing to pay 500 over for Malevolence? Is Malevolence okay, but skill effect duration? But hey, if maybe I don't see that ever selling, but I guess. One mirror. I just feels uh, it just feels wrong. Okay, and the last one was Pride and Rarity, complete max roll. Did, if this would be on the quant thingy, so Pride and Rarity we said right. Rarity of items found doesn't exist, but a Pride on a twenty roll. It's 365, 460 with all res, AoE 500, strength, dexterity. Ir I man, I, I don't know, man. You know, it's a mirror then as well, I guess. This is, it just feels wrong for me to price check that because you cannot make an instant decision on how much are people willing to uh, sell or buy these items. This is just my honest opinion, right? If I if I put it in like uh, the quant one for three mirror, the the other one for two mirror, and then we have like one mirror for each of those, and I guess one mirror for that as well. But then we are still on like four. Then we still would lose like six hundred. So one mirror lost or something. I mean, honestly, I think I'm just gonna leave everybody with their own decision. If they say I, I, I call bullshit, then I because this is what what is my opinion, right? I call this bullshit. Because I, I just don't know if these items will ever sell this far into the league. You can just, you know, best thing is, hey, make a tap with like five mirrors, put all five in. Next day, 4.5 mirrors. Next day, four mirrors. Maybe you find this one person that says like, yo, I was waiting for this Quant Cell Tree one and the guy's asking four mirrors. Fuck it. It's been maxing. You know, I'm going to pay four mirrors for this belt. Maybe. And then I'll, all of a sudden, you make profit. But honestly, I would like, if you want to make this for profit, I would probably not do the Hinekoras way, because this seems to be just, you know, like 50 tries with Double Corrupt and Valor, and we hit quantity one time, and I think even hitting quantity is lucky, but, you know, I don't want to burn my hands here, so I, I say uh, I'm stopping this video at this point, and uh, I, I'm definitely going to say thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and uh, see you on the next video, and if, if somebody needs a Quant Teletry Belt, call me.